hello friends welcome back to my channel in today's videos we are going to learn how to validate a form field using javascript so let's get started if class is equal to form day form action is equal to empty on summit equal to return validation is a function name input type equal to text then placeholder placeholder is equal to username id equal to user class is equal to valid pid user error class error p this p tag i have used to show some uh, to show the error and we will put the text using javascript input type equal to password placeholder placeholder equal to password id is equal to pass and class is equal to valid pid equal to pass error class is error and closing p tag you can also add some field as per your requirement so for email and phone number we'll get all the verification or you in w3 school or you can google it so here how it looks right now i've not applied any javascript function and in into this so let's put some javascript here is the javascript file let user n equal to document dot get element by id user the i've selected username by using id id name is user then same for password and let flag equal to one flag is uh, something that we are setting for example your by default it will not submit the data for submitting the data we are using return true or false for that i am using the flag condition here you will get to know about the flag later on so function validation validation is a function name which i have returned in form form field have, have you remember that then if user n dot value equal equal to empty document dot get element by the user error user error i have told you that uh, i have used the p tag to show the error this is that dot inner html username equal to empty else if user n dot value dot length less than equal to 3 document dot get element by user error dot inner html equal to username required minimum 3 characters for both the conditions that I, for first if it's empty then it will show username is empty if character is less than 3 or equal to 3 then it will return username required minimum 3 characters if both the condition pass sorry if both the condition fails then it will go to else condition document dot get element by id user error dot inner html equal to empty so flag if flag is zero then it will not submit the data if flag is one then it will submit the data for both the condition i have written zero and for else part i have written one that means if uh, all the condition uh, if user is put if user has put in some value into username then it will automatically submit the data here for pass if pass that is password dot value equal equal to empty document dot get element by id pass error pass error is a p tag which i have created earlier and i have selected that p tag using id dot inner html password is empty and else part if this condition fails then it will go to else part document dot get element by id pass error dot inner html equal to empty so here is the flag one as you remember in earlier condition flag one is present means if it's empty then it, it will automatically submit the data means uh, sorry that it means that if all the condition are true then it will submit the data if flag is one return true if flag is not one then return false that is if flag is one return true else return false i have just written here flag because i have already assigned flag equal to one here you can see i have written flag one here is error i have written less than two characters and i have not given any value in password so showing us this error we will put like this like this here is 
sa mentalita. I hope you like this video.